there everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the candles I picked up from the Easton Town Center White Barn located in Columbus, Ohio. I do live about an hour and a half away and on Friday me and my friend Brittany, which you might know here on YouTube as Pearls and Daggers, we decided to make the trip up there and to say the least, um, we did pretty good. We each had about four to five bags of candles and let's just say they were heavy. They are a test store so they have um, the upcoming fall 2014 candles that you'll end up seeing in um, Bath and Body Works everywhere. Okay so for fall there is about five different collections that are going to be coming out. Um, the Fresh Picked is actually out right now in some stores and the only one that um, seems to have not made the cut for that would be the butternut squash candle. Now I do wish that I would have picked it up, but I was like walking around the store for probably like five minutes with this candle in my hand trying to smell it, and I just could not smell it. I don't know, I mean, when you're in there you are just so overwhelmed. It's all candles basically. And once you start smelling things, it's really hard to um, smell everything and really form an opinion about all of them. So that is the only test scent, I believe, for the Fresh Picked. I did already pick up the Fresh Picked Coastal Cool and Summer Sip candles from my um, local Bath & Body Works store, which you're going to see in a different haul. So I thought for this video I would just show you what I got from White Barn. Now the first collection that I'm going to start with is the Artisan collection. So you're going to see some candles disappear from over here. Okay, for the Artisan Market collection I believe there is probably 8 or 9 candles. Um, I did not see the Croissant one or the Pistachio one, but I did pick up um, the rest of the candles. The first one that I have is Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding, and that is what that one looks like. And then all of the lids have um, something that corresponds to what the candle is. And this one I believe is not really a test scent. I do believe it's going to be coming out on August 4th because on the new Bounce Back coupons at Bath & Body Works you can see um, this candle already on there. Now I'm not going to read the candle notes for any of the candles because that would just be way too long um, but I'm just going to tell you kind of what I get from them. Now this one is pretty light. Um, keep in mind that everything that I'm going to be saying except one candle is going to be um, my opinion on cold sniff um, which can be totally different when you're lighting them. You have no idea what you're getting into when you're lighting them. Um, it does kind of smell like a candied banana, almost, um, I do get the banana, but I think I kind of get, like, nutmeg bread. I don't know about the pudding, but it's good. Um, I'll probably pick up another one depending on how this one burns, but, um, I would definitely recommend this. I think this is, like, the only banana candle Bath & Body Works has done that I know of. Okay, and then the next one is Cayenne Caramel. And there's the lid on that one. Now this one is very strange. Um, not everyone's going to like this. It has the caramel sweet scent and then it also has like a cayenne pepper spicy kick to it. Now it's not something that I would usually go for, but surprisingly it smells really good. Now I only picked up one of these, but I do hope that it ends up coming out. The next one that I have is Wasabi Apple, and there's the lid on that one. Now this one, um, I don't know if you can really tell, but this label does not have the um, kind of foiled look that these other ones have with the name. So I am afraid that this one is probably a true test set um, and that it might not go wide. I did see them in the mini mason jars, but as you know, Bath & Body Works can always bring them out in a smaller form and not in the complete 
full three wick. Um, so this one is is a little different. I don't really know what wasabi smells like. Um, I thought wasabi was kind of like a kind of like a spicy scent, but um, with this one. It's more just like a sour green apple. But I think it does have a little underlying of a little kick to it. But um, it doesn't really remind me of anything in years past. But it's good. I would definitely recommend this one too. Okay, the next one is Vanilla Chai. And that is what this one looks like. And I don't really know what chai is supposed to smell like either. I've never had a um, chai latte or anything, but from my understanding, it's a little bit um, kind of, it's a spice, so it's going to be probably kind of like a sweet, spicy scent. Um, you definitely get the vanilla. And it's just kind of, oh, it's so hard to describe. Almost like a like a cinnamon, yeah. Now this one's hard. I get the vanilla and I also get cinnamon. Um, I don't really know if it's the chai, but I'm getting a vanilla cinnamony scent. So that is that one. I only got one of these and I really do hope that this one goes wide because I think a lot of people will like this one. Okay, and then the next one is Bourbon Butterscotch, and that is what that one looks like. Now this one really reminds me of um, years past Hot Buttered Rum. Um, it has kind of that caramel um, rum or bourbon kind of scent to it, um, just kind of sweet and almost a little alcoholy. Now I do think that the bourbon is a lot stronger in this um, than like the hot buttered rum candle. Um, it's pretty good. I do get kind of like a sweet, um, I guess it's probably the vanilla and the butterscotch maybe. Um, but overall I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, and then the last two are totally repackages in my opinion on cold sniff um, and the first one is blackberry bramble tea and then the lid just has a little blackberry on it now this is totally blueberry pumpkin patch um, let me get one actually to compare it okay so there's blueberry pumpkin patch I think they can kind of just a slight variation and blueberry pumpkin patch to me kind of smells like Fruit Loops or like Captain Crunch. I smell more of that like Captain Crunch scent in this one. And then I think this one does kind of almost have like a little tea scent. It might be more fresh than the blueberry pumpkin patch. I definitely won't have any idea until I burn the blackberry bramble tea. Um, I did pick up three of those because um, blueberry pumpkin patch is obviously not coming out since it's definitely repackaged in this form. Okay, and then the last one in the Artisan Market collection is sea salt and maple popcorn. Looks like that. And there's the lid. And this one... In my opinion, it is totally Summer Boardwalk repackaged. Um, this one actually does not have like the foil letters, just like um, the Wasabi Apple Candle. So I'm wondering if this is really a test scent too. Um, I know Summer Boardwalk does really, really well, but I don't see any reason to be bringing it back out again. I mean, it's it's came out what twice this year at least. Um, American Boardwalk, Summer Boardwalk. So, in my opinion, I don't really think that this one is a necessity. Um, if you have Summer Boardwalk, I just, unless you really love it, um, I wouldn't pick this one up. Oh, and I do think that um, 
the maple note can kind of be interchanged with that caramel apple that's in Summer Boardwalk or American Boardwalk. So I really think that one is the same. Okay, the next collection that I'm going to talk about is the Pumpkin Cafe collection. And a lot of these um, are kind of the same as last year's um, pumpkin collection. And the ones that I did not pick up were Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which that one's already online, so I know I'm going to be able to get it in stores. Um, but I will definitely probably get two or three of those when it does come out into my store. I also did not get Pumpkin Spice Cider. When I smelled it, um, to me it just smelled like spice cider. Um, if it does come out, maybe I'll smell it again and see if I can smell any of the pumpkin. But I think it's just the same as last year's spice cider. The next one that I did not pick up was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This one comes out every year and um, the label's really cute this year. But I burned one last year and I really did not like it. It's very strong on the spicy cinnamon pumpkin scent, um, not really an authentic pumpkin scent, so I did pass on that, and then I also passed on Pumpkin Cupcake, which is already online, so it's definitely going to be hitting stores, um, it's a very, very good pumpkin, um, bakery scent, I think everyone loves that one, um, and that one comes out pretty much every year too. And then Pumpkin Caramel Latte I did not get because I have one from last year, and it's just not really one of my favorites. Um, if you like that scent, sorry, but it's just not not my favorite. The first one I picked up from the Pumpkin Cafe collection is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. And that is what the lids on these ones look like. They're all like different color corresponding to the wax. And it does say on here, um, for recipes, visit bathandbodyworks.com, which I thought was pretty interesting whenever these ones come out. Curious to see the recipes they have. Um, now this one I know that everyone is talking about, trying to get their hands on, and I'm not really sure if it's going to um, make it past test phase. This is the only candle that, um, that I've gotten that I have burned so far, and I, I love the scent. The throw is great, but it just doesn't smell new to me. Um, it just, it reminds me of like a frosted cupcake, um, and also this candle here from last year, which is not coming back out, and that is roasted pumpkin butter. Um, it has just like this bakery scent with a little bit of pumpkin, and I guess like the marshmallow, but to me, I smell like the buttercream that is like in every bakery candle that Bath & Body Works comes out with. It's good, but I don't think it's that great. Um, I'll save the best one for last, um, which I really, really hope comes out because it's a really good one, and on Cold Stiff, it's pretty strong. So this is the one that I had already burnt, and the mushroom tops on this one were huge, and um, I think it got so hot that like the label is peeling off. I don't know if they're using... Um, different kind of adhesive for the labels, but um, I know a lot of people have had the problem with the label starting to peel off. Okay, and the next one is Pumpkin Sugar Donut, and that is what the lid looks like. Now this one um, also kind of let me down a little bit. I was just kind of picturing Cinnamon Sugar Donut with like a little hint of pumpkin in it, um, but it really has that strong, almost spicy, sweet, um, like cinnamon pumpkin scent, and then it has just a little bit of a bakery note. Yeah, I mean, it really reminds me of cinnamon sugar donut, um, but I don't think it's something that everyone should be going crazy about. Um, it's not, I don't know, it's just, I don't think it's as good as what I thought it was going to be. But I can't wait to burn it and actually see um, what it smells like when it's burning. And I did pick up two of these. The next one that I picked up was Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. And that is what the lids on these look like. Now this one I do not think is a new scent whatsoever. 
In my opinion, I really think that it is a candle from the holiday traditions last year. And that one is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. Let me just smell them side by side really quick. Yeah, I definitely think it is the exact same candle um, repackaged. Um, I think that the cinnamon and the pumpkin can be interchangeable. And since I already have this one, and I, I haven't even burned this one yet, so I don't even know if I like it very well, um, I probably wouldn't have picked up two of these at all. Um, I'll probably um, exchange it for something that comes out in the future, or maybe even sell it. I'm not really sure yet, but unless you like um, the cinnamon caramel swirl from the holiday traditions last year, um, I would pass on that one too. And last but not least, this is my absolute favorite from the Pumpkin Cafe collection, and I really think it is the only new scent completely, and it is Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun, and there's the lid on that one. Now I picked up four of these, but I can definitely see myself picking up more in the future if this one does go wide. I really, really hope this one comes out into Bath and Body Works stores because it is so good. It it smells like cinnamon, like the store cinnamon bond. It smells like you are baking cinnamon rolls in your kitchen. It is so good. It is not cinnamon frosting, which I have right here. I like cinnamon frosting, but it has more of that red hot cinnamon. And then this one, it has more of that bakery um, kind of cream cheese icing on it. Um, I really, really love this one, and I definitely recommend it. And then the collection I did not get anything from was the Autumn Nights collection. It had, um, I think, pretty much all previous scents, um, like Autumn, Harvest Gathering, Flannel, stuff like that, um, Marshmallow Fireside, and I know those are going to come out. And then the only one I think that had um, a new name, um, it was Autumn Nights, same name as the collection. And unfortunately that is just a straight up repackage of Applewood Bonfire in my opinion. So if you're sad that one um, isn't coming back out, it's coming back out under Autumn Nights. The last fall collection, um, I only picked up a few and that is the We Love Fall collection. And this has a lot of returning favorites again from last year, um, like leaves, pumpkin apple, and sweater weather. Um, sweater weather I've never tried but I probably will try it out this year. Pumpkin apple, it's good but I think it's pretty generic and I still have one from last year. Leaves, awesome candle. I think everybody loves leaves and I'm kind of disappointed I don't like the label as much as last year but same scent. And tailgate which I think um, was either a test scent last year or it did come out. It's mostly kind of a cologne scent. It does smell kind of like cologne, mahogany, leather, whatever they want to call it. But it's okay, but not really something that I would pick up. Um, Autumn Sky, which I think was different. It could be a repackage of something, but I didn't like the scent whatsoever. So I don't even know if it has came out before or not, but I just didn't like it. It was kind of like another cologne scent. The first one that I picked up is Green Apple Orchard and all of the um, lids have this bronze leaf imprint around it. And this one I think is truly new. Um, it's kind of like wasabi apple where it's like a green sour apple. It's so sour green apple it almost kind of smells skunky to me. Um, but I think it's pretty good. Um, I can't really figure out if it's anything that's came out before. Um, if you know, let me know. But um, to me, it's something I don't think I've ever smelled before. And then the next one is Salted Caramel Corn, which I think this label is so cute. And there's the lid. This one I think I've heard is um, Salted Caramel or Salty Caramel repackaged from previous years. 
and I've never had those two candles so I I have no idea but um it almost has like the summer boardwalk um and then the sea salt and maple popcorn candle scent um So this one's okay, but um, I'm not really sure it's, if it's going to make it. Um, another kind of popcorn scent. Last but not least for the fall candles, I have Trick or Treat. And there's the lid, same as the other ones. And I was really excited that they were coming out with some Halloween items this year. Um, there's two other ones that were mentioned, but I haven't seen those at, at all. Um, Bath and Body Works used to really go all out for Halloween. And, um, recently, I think the past year or two, it's just been, like, pocket backs, which is stupid. Um, I think having a lot of Halloween stuff would be really cool this year, so I really hope they do do that. Um, but unfortunately, this is this. <laughs> um, Summertime S'mores is, like, the new Marshmallow Fireside. Marshmallow Fireside used to have a lesser cologne scent and more of a marshmallow smoky scent. And um, unfortunately, since Summertime S'mores came out, they have changed it to that kind of formulation. But um, unfortunately, it's the same as Marshmallow Fireside. And they even have like the same color wax. So yeah, basically... If you were looking for a new Halloween candle, it's not going to be this one. And then I thought I would also share some of the other items that I got from White Barn because they're all test scents. Um, from spring and summer, they had $9 candles on like the SAS stuff, which still not really a good deal, but um, with a survey coupon, which they did let me use survey coupons, which is awesome. Um, thank you so much to the managers and all the workers there. They were very, very nice. Um, and I had fun shopping in there. The first test scent I saw in there was Sugarberry Spritzer. And um, they did have a lot, a lot of these. Um, it is really light, but I do like the scent. And I'm really curious to see actually how it turns out when I burn it. The next one is Road to Kona, I think. And since this one didn't come out um, and I had never seen it before, I I picked it up anyway, um, even though I have um, two Cafe Italia and two espresso bars. Um, and the lid is like crazy mangled, but that's okay. Um, glad to get my hands on that. Oh, and in the destinations, I did also see um, Bermuda Break, I believe it was, and a few of the other destination test scents that didn't come out. But they really just weren't anything um, special, so that was the only one that I, I picked up because I knew I'd love that one. And then the um, next one I got was Golden Sunflower. And this one, along with, um, I think, Farm Stand Frisia and Lily of the Valley was there. Um, I didn't like those two, but this Sunflower, it's a really nice, light, bright scent. Um, I don't usually go for florals, but I thought it was different, and since I was there, you know, you're in the moment, so gotta pick it up. And then I picked up two of Lemon Cucumber. And these are actually not for me, they are for a little ball of deer here on YouTube. Um, to me, it smells like pickles, which is, it's kind of weird and it's kind of good. I kind of do wish I would have picked up one for myself. Um, I didn't even see these out, I had asked if they had any, and then she brought them out. Um, so I'm glad I asked, I totally forgot to ask about any sweet shop or anything else I was just so overwhelmed in the moment like I just could not even think like anything that they would have that um, I might have wanted just completely mind was blank um, but hopefully she'll enjoy those ones um, the next one I picked up was um, pineapple lychee smoothie that's what the lid looks like 
This is a failed test scent for the summer sips. Um, I did already mention I got the summer sips at my store and that's going to be in a different video. But I thought I would just throw these in here since they're all from White Barn anyway. And this one's really good. It To me it smells kind of like a pina colada. And I did pick up two of these. Um, I hope this one burns well. I heard some not so good things about it. And lastly, I picked up Palm Granite Spritzer. That's what that lid looks like. I picked up three of these because it really reminds me of like my favorite candle, Palm Granite Lemonade. Um, I don't remember the last time they've had Palm Granite really dominant in a candle, so I was very, very happy to see these. Um, I do hope they burn well. If you have any, let me know um, how the burn was for you. I would love to know. Yeah, this one really reminds me of Palm Granite Lemonade. But once I smell um, Palm Granite Lemonade next to it, they're definitely different in some way. And then if you didn't know, White Barn carries a lot of home decor items, and they're not necessarily Bath & Body Works or White Barn brand. Um, I did pick up one, and it is by the brand Mine Design. And the website is MineDesignHome.com. And this was $8. It's a little um, ceramic owl, which if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with owls. And it comes in the box like this. And I've already been using it, so he's kind of gotten a little black and sooty. But it's just a little owl. And what this is for, um, I never really had seen these. I guess Yankee Candle has had these in the past, but it's like a candle sitter. So it just sits on the candle while it's burning like that. And I just think that's so cute. Um, he is a little black and sooty because I've been using him already. But I think that's a really cute way to um, decorate your candles. That's everything I picked up from White Barn. Um, Overall, I was very, very excited, and I'm glad I got to visit, but I don't think that it's something um, everyone should be freaking out about. Um, the scents are just, they're mostly repackaged. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Bye-bye.